All righty, let's talk about this, the case for Zamperla. And boy, do I have a really big argument. And something was just added to that arsenal of an argument yesterday um, in the form of a podcast, which even further makes me speculate something from Zamperla is coming to Canada's Wonderland. But lo and behold, we'll get into that. So um, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about why I think Zamperla is the manufacturer for our 2025 coaster. Um, I was so confident that I was pretty close to making this an official prediction about a week ago, um, but I wanted some further evidence just because I was hearing some other rumblings that I wasn't fully on board with. If you saw yesterday's video, that was the rumbling. Um, and I'm also not fully, fully, fully on board with the idea that the wing coaster is not happening. That sounds confusing, but um, with the wing coaster being the main um, aspect that Canada's Wonderland was serving, I obviously don't want to give up hope on that potentially being the outcome. With that being said, it does 99% look like that is not going to be the outcome, but I like to hold on to it in the arsenal of possibilities just in case. But what do I think is the most plausible option for this massive plot of land that stretches all the way from Extreme Skyflyer into the mountain, into Alpen? Well, that's Zamperla. I think that Zamperla is um, a powerhouse of a manufacturer that is up and coming. Um, they have an amazing relationship with Cedar Fair. So if anyone's been paying attention, a lot of their new rides have been coming from Zamperla. So... In another podcast that Zamperla was on, they were talking about how they love working with Cedar Fair. Cedar Fair spends more money on their rides than other companies out there purchasing from Zamperla. Um, they were talking about the placemaking that Cedar Fair is invested in. Um, they referred to Aeronautica, the new land at Kings Island, um, and the, the new rides at Cedar Point, and how they love working with Cedar Fair on these new concepts. And it seems like Cedar Fair... Um, loves it as well. They keep purchasing. So I have a feeling that this was why there was a change of plans um, and Wonderland is now going with Sam Perla. Now, a lot of people are under the impression, including myself, I was under the impression that this was going to be a high thrill coaster that Cedar Fair was going to purchase for Canada's Wonderland in the year 2025. And there's a lot of really good reasons to assume that we're on the docket for a high thrill attraction. So I'm kind of confused about this potential direction that Cedar Fair might be heading with Canada's Wonderland. But I also want to explain that that makes sense too. But that's not in today's video. That'll be in a video I come out with tomorrow. So in today's video, we're just going to talk about some reasons why I think Zamperla is the manufacturer. So for those of you that remember the podcast about um, a month and a half ago, two months ago, I teased to you guys that a manufacturer had followed me on TikTok. Um, no other manufacturer follows me, but this manufacturer followed me, and it was Zamperla. So just to give out some details there. Well, lo and behold, um, another person from Zamperla followed me on Instagram about a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is, by the way, just to state, a reach but I just want to point out that there are no other manufacturers that follow my page. I don't really see a reason for a manufacturer to follow my page um, outside of the fact that maybe there's a future project coming to Canada's Wonderland. Does that mean it's 2025? No, it doesn't solidify a year, but it is interesting nonetheless. On top of that, um, Zamperla has offered a impressive uptime percentage to Cedar Fair in terms of Top Thrill 2. So uh, they promised Cedar Fair, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, a 96% average uptime, um, which is compared to Top Thrill Dragster 1, um, which was around 84%. I believe, again, these percentages might be a little skewed. I might have mixed them up. But uh, it's a significant uptime uh, promise that Zamperla has offered to Cedar Fair. On top of that, they offer really cheap, easy-to-replace parts. So Zamperla's sale feature um, that they use is extremely easy maintenance, um, easy and cheap to replace parts. And their trains that um, require next to no maintenance um, that other trains would require. So the lightning train model um, has that aluminum design that requires a lot less welding um, that other trains and ride components would require. So it's a, a significant 
sale feature that Zamperla has there. And for a park or a chain like Cedar Fair, that's a significant thing for them. And that is 100% something that they eye. Now, we were all assuming that they were going to go down the Zamperla Lightning model, and I was 100% on board with that too, that rumor and speculation, and I thought, you know, we're due for a thrill coaster. They were surveying a thrill wing coaster, so it's got to be the Lightning model. Well, you guys aren't going to like this latest rumor I'm hearing, and this one is, um, again, pure speculation, but everything does align with this. So in a recent podcast... Zamperla was talking about their future plans. So the the interview was about Top Thrill 2 um, and how excited they were. And the interviewer um, asked them, well, okay, are you able to talk about some future plans in the USA that you're really excited about? And Zamperla stopped them and said, well, we have a plan that's really exciting. It's not in the USA. We won't say where, but it's for 2025. Um, and we're really excited about this because it's going to have worldwide publicity um, when it opens. And it's our version of Big Bear Mountain. And it has a, it's the family thrill coaster model, what you're seeing on the screen. And right now it has a 42-inch requirement height requirement. But they have the ability to upgrade it if the park wants a little higher thrill one to 48 inches. So again, don't groan yet. There is the possibility to to upgrade it and they did specifically mention that this one coaster that they were working on was their little like um <clears throat> in quotations version of big bear mountain at dollywood so i think that was their sale feature and this i know um what i want to talk about again this is just speculation at this moment because this is just from a podcast but adding all the information up one could most certainly paint that there is a significant likelihood that Zamperla is the manufacturer of our 2025 coaster. Um, there are a few things that I don't like about the Family Thrill launch coaster model that are on their website, but again, things can be exchanged um, and changed, so maybe they will do LSMs instead of tire launches. But what I want to talk about is, yes, um, we all wanted inversions, and yes, on paper, um, this doesn't look that amazing, but I've heard really good things about Big Bear Mountain. And if Zamperla is going to build a version like that, that launches you from Extreme Sky Flyer's plot of land into the mountain, uh, doing some elements in the mountain, out into Elpen, and then heading back on over to Extreme Sky Flyer, with this kind of a setup, that's a really good coaster to add to our lineup nonetheless. And I definitely think it'll be like top four rides at Canada's Wonderland at the end of the day. So as upsetting as it might seem because we were really hoping for a high thrill ride, um, I can still see why this would be exciting. But again, I'll talk more about that in a video tomorrow. So let's go over it again. Why do I think Zamperla is working with Canada's Wonderland? Well, I think that with all the recent projects that Zamperla and Cedar Fair have, it's very likely that Cedar Fair has some sort of package deal or they've just been really impressed with the, the workmanship that they have with Zamperla and the product that Zamperla has been offering. Um, you have Zamperla following me on multiple accounts now in the last two months that this has all occurred. On top of that, um, I 100% uh, um, sorry, I 100% understand that there are sometimes deals that can be offered by manufacturers, and we have to remember that Zamperla is an up and coming manufacturer that doesn't necessarily have their product out there right now for buyers to go visit and look at. And they are looking to have parks build these models um, so they can have those first uh, for companies to look at. So, for example, the Lightning model, they don't have a custom-built one out yet. And the Family Thrill Coaster, they don't necessarily have a fully custom layout built yet either. And again, in that podcast, they talked about that, how they were excited that this was going to be their first custom layout um, that they were build building of the Family Thrill Coaster for the 2025 park. So that leads me to believe that there was some sort of conversation that Zamperla could have offered Cedar Fair um, to build one at one of their parks uh, and uh, have it showcase them and exchange a little discount um, to have them showcase this on their, their website and uh, have some buyers come visit the park. So that's just one of my theories. 
On top of that, you got the low maintenance costs, the easy to replace parts, and the awesome new train designs, and the uptime that they are promising their buyers for their attractions. Those are all things that I can't see Cedar Fair ignoring. Um, and obviously, if they're to work with one, two, one of two manufacturers, Intamin or um, Zamperla, I think they're going to go with Zamperla just with the success that I'm hearing that Top Thrill 2 has and how it's just been working no matter what. Um, I also find it interesting that uh, they were testing in cold temperatures, specifically cold temperatures, on Top Thrill 2. Again, another note to pay attention to because they want to see if their launch and their trains work in colder temperatures. So I think that might have been a nod. But again, this is an overreach. All of these are to be taken with a grain of salt. But what I'm trying to paint here is the overall picture is looking a lot like an unavoidable, den undeniable um, reasoning as to why Zamperla is working with Canada's Wonderland. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I do think this is more exciting than a premiere. I know some enthusiasts are going to disagree there because premiere does offer some great products. I get that. Um, but this just lines up with Canada's family park um, image a lot more. So I, I, I know it's sad, but at the end of the day, Canada's Wonderland is a family park and they are trying to become the Disney of the North. And this with high theming, really is that step in the right direction so it makes sense to me but stay tuned for tomorrow's video and my construction update which should be out um a little later today so thanks so much guys have a good one bye